can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shot with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Kick the shit out of how these. How could yep, you do this comes. to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Roll credits. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Yeah, we killed Weedle Brothers. Show, but, you know. Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. my fucking arm. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. Long live the queen, huh? There we go. I can barely hear anything. Shit. Jeez, does he own a bed? He's not in a sling? Bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. What happened to the subtitles? If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. <sighs> Easy there. Try not to move. Ew. We can't Ow. this way, old boy. Blech. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Swinehart, how bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must Jeez. say, you're testing even my skills here. <sighs> Please, Big B, don't Blech. move it. Stop moving the arm. Look, I'm oh, I'm gonna throw up. Saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh, fuck! Fine. Fuck. Oh, I don't, I don't even want to look. Uh, uh, uh. Alright. Come on, snap that on. Fuck it. Oh! You did not just snap your arm back hmm. in like that. Not huh? bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's Gee. lucky to be alive. Thanks, he Doc. Maybe next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. This. <laughs> is the job. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. Yeah, I don't want someone I, I breathing think down I should my stay, neck either. At least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, uh -huh, uh -huh. better hands. And I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind. Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Yeah, the doctor asked for you to give him the time. Give him the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's oh, finished. Fuck! Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, 
You're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Cullen, shut the hell up, will ya? Yes, that would be helpful. I mean... <sighs> there. All done. Oh, you got all the pieces? Sweet. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me, and... Well, this time... Yeah, getting shot. Time, yeah, yeah no I really joke. wanted to get shot. As many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is, is the morgue. Ooh-hoo-hoo! <laughs> Wow, where did I see that coming? He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I yeah, know, dude. but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Do you want me to pay Care. for the fucking suit? Please. The cleaning bill? I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. I don't need a babysitter. I can look after myself. Yeah, clearly. Jack. Oh, oh was, clearly. Guard against, as they say. What if, what if you got one shot one by a shotgun eight times? Colin. Swiney. Up your ass. Dick bag. No clue who he is. Alright, where are we going? What's our next lead? Yeah, drink a soup. Yeah! So. What? How do you, um, feel? Are you joking? It's Bigby, Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I seen him take worse. How do you think I feel? Like shit. You should see how you look. <laughs> Literally, I feel like shit. I'm glad you're not dead. Gee, thanks. Thanks, I appreciate that. You, uh... You stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It's happening. Nah, they're it, not about to. Um, no. It kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were, I don't know. It was just awful. Snow. I'd never leave you. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. Cock blocker! You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. You're gonna be bacon, Colin, ham. I'm just saying, roast, I was worried about him, is all. Spin you over a Guy fire, you a little nice shit. Days. We'll all get some rest when this whole thing is done. Oh. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, a do you lot. guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the Crooked Man taking over? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah, it's a yeah. giant conspiracy. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying. That's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder him. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? I mean, I would be you dead. You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? You weren't there, Colin, so just drop it. Yeah, okay, shut your okay. fucking mouth. All I care about right now is... I'm in a mood. <laughs> just what does the crooked man want out of this? Whoa. I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about okay. Crane, yeah. right? Getting no. him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? This is about those girls, and it'll always be about those girls. Nothing. We'll change that. We'll see. Well, I mean, wait. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. 
We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Yeah, wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight no. as an arrow. I wanna. Pure is driven snow. I'm not saying I'm <laughs> sure I can't. This town has pig. monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind really at a moment's notice, getting me mad. we were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I Green only shot. ever do what's necessary. Really? Well, if that's the case, please explain to Colin why tearing Dumb's throat out was necessary. You can't let up until the fight is finished. He was... he was still a threat, and that's all there is to it. Sure. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Hold on, who says I'm sloppy? I always do what I do for a reason. Yeah, motherfuckers, I'm turning you. on all of you now. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm I going like Colin. to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? Yeah, are you? It's just that now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay. At the oh, give me a fucking break. Are oh. you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. We all need to calm down. Everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? What the fuck? Why do I have to choose? Can someone pick that up? It's ringing. Pick, my, pick up my phone, please. Thank you. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Wait, does Buffkin Thanks. have to go to the farm? Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Bluebeard. Narissa. 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 That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. Oh. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the uh, oh. disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. Yeah, he's useless. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Yeah, that Consider would help. the discussion tabled, but not over. Yeah, yeah. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. I'm gonna aye, kill someone Captain. again. I'm gonna kill Colin first. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? After everything we've fucking been through, you don't have the nerve to give me a straight answer. I don't know, Colin. Damn. Damn. That was rough. Oh, and it's not over yet. Security office? What the fuck is this? Oh, hey. Oh, really? That's it? Huh. Not much of a... opener. Not well. They all can't be fucking amazing like episode two. Episode two's opener was fucking wild.